Hello across from the sky, happy Tuesday. I'm sorry that I've been absent for a little while. Um, we want to change days again. We want to go back to me on Tuesdays and Christina on Thursdays just because we're both kind of busy and it just suits us better so I hope nobody minds that it is Tuesday today, isn't it? Yes, I think it's Tuesday. Um, yeah, so it's so echo in here, I'm sorry. Today I want to talk about YouTube. I want to give advice to any of you that make videos or that want to start making videos and Christina's going to do the same on Thursday so I'm going to talk about how to get subscribers and how to deal with hate and negativity and I think Christina's going to talk about how to think of good video ideas and how to deal with people at school um, and videos and all that kind of awkwardness. So we're going to split this so that we're not talking about the same things and I'm going to get straight into it. So I do get messages from time to time and I get questions on Twitter and stuff just asking about um, how to get subscribers. I have just over 3,000 on my own channel and however many we have here, 1,300 or so, I'm not sure. Which is lovely, incredibly lovely and so strange and unexpected. There isn't really a secret but um, I often say not to focus on subscribers or numbers but the most important thing is to be making videos that you genuinely like and that you would watch yourself and that's the most important thing because then you can be proud of them and put them up there and if other people like them then that's great but I understand it's really frustrating if you've been doing that and if you've been liking your videos for a long period of time and not very many people are watching them and you're watching other people who sort of get 20,000 subscribers a day and that can be frustrating yeah so my advice for that is set yourself goals. There's nothing wrong with setting subscriber goals. I think it makes you more motivated and it makes you make better videos. But make them appropriate to you and don't ever compare yourself to other people. And also, if you are just starting out and you find it's, you know, nobody is there watching, um, watch other people's videos, comment on people's videos that you like. That's how I've become friends with so many people. They'll comment on my videos a few times and I'll say, oh, this person's so nice. I'll go to their channel, I'll watch their videos, we'll follow each other on Twitter, we'll suddenly become Skype friends and Facebook friends and then we meet each other at a YouTube gathering and it's the best thing in the world and that's how I became friends with so many incredible people. So just become active and tweet people and go to blog TVs or comment on videos and just get more active and eventually people will return the favour and all will be well. Then dealing with negativity or haters and all that good stuff. I've been very lucky in that I don't often get very negative comments. I did once get a succession of just really, really horrible, sweary, this video made me want to die comments. I deleted those. I think, I think if it's just downright rude and it's sweary and it's just not helping anybody, it's fine to delete them and block the person. If a, vi if a comment just said, I didn't really like this video, I think your other videos are better, I don't mind. That's constructive. That's fine and you shouldn't really get upset about things like that. But yeah, as for really horrible comments, I just delete them and block the person. And that person, after I did that, they then emailed me and called me loads more names and said that I was a coward for blocking them. So that was fun, but you have to be prepared for that if you're gonna make videos, I guess. There's a lot of mean people out there who like to be anonymous on the internet and they like to say mean things, but oh well. And finally, I guess, as cliched as it is, just be yourself in your videos and online. Just just do. That's a nice thing to do. And if you have any questions, please, please, please put them in the comments and I will be replying. I've been a little bit bad at that lately. I'm very sorry. And as I say, Christina is going to cover some other topics about um, how to think of good video ideas and how to deal with people at school knowing you make videos and all that kind of stuff. It's a bit more appropriate to her and she has been making videos for much longer than I have so um, her advice will probably be much better than mine. So yes, ask me questions if you want to and if not I will see you all next Tuesday and Christina I'll see you on Thursday I think. Let's see if this works. Ah. <sighs>